Okay, so welcome to IQ online class. Okay, so today we we'll look at integration involving trigonometric identities. Okay, so last the, the, the video we did last time was on integration by parts. So now this one, uh, let's do this. Let's say you are given something like this. When you have uh, when you are taught to integrate, okay, when you are taught to integrate, maybe you have. When you have sine sin 8x, you also have cos 2x, like that, okay? How can you integrate this? How can you integrate this? So this one, we don't go direct. Of course, here there is a product of two, two functions here. So we don't go direct here. But we involve what we call trig identities. So these are some of the trig identities which you need to know. So the first one, okay? The first one, so... Uh, 2 sine m cos b so this one takes us to sine a minus b okay plus okay sine uh, b sine a sine a plus a, b like that okay this is one of the identities which you need to know when you have sine and cos so that one you can expand it to that form there the other identity which you need to know is that when you have two cos in cos a okay cos b okay where does this one take us to so this one takes us to uh, cos in okay a minus b okay plus uh, cos a plus b okay that's another identity which you need to know the third one okay when you have two uh, sine a sine b so this one takes us to cos okay cos a minus b okay minus cos a plus b okay so these are the common identities which we need to know here okay but there are other other identities which we derive also. So for example here, it means when you expand this using difference of angles, you can get something like this, okay? So now, you look at the person here, look at the person here, it is in one form. So when you look at the person, we're dealing with sine and cos. We're dealing with what? Sine and cos. Meaning, this one here, okay, is in this form here, sine and cos. So, uh, integrating, uh, so integrating, sine uh, 8x cos 2x so integrating this one what do we do so integrating this one this one we are going to take it as a angle a so meaning angle a is equal to 8x then angle b is equal to 2x okay so from there now we take in this uh this formula here okay so since this one is this one is in this form, okay? But bear in mind that this one has a two, this one doesn't have a two. So whatever expansion we get here, the expansion of this one will be divided by two, okay? To balance the one, yeah? to balance the, the, the equation like that one. So now, how do we work out this one here? How do we work out that one? So since we are saying that our A is uh, 8x, our B is 2x. So we can come back here in this formula, okay? So we we'll say, uh, we we'll say sine sine 8x cos 2x. This one will be equal to this one will be equal to. We we'll get sine, okay? Then a is 8x, so we we'll get 8x minus it. Uh, b is 2x, okay? What we have here, this is plus. So sine, okay? Uh, a is 8x plus b is 2x like that okay so meaning this one expansion of that one will take us to sine okay 8x minus 2x is 6x plus uh, 8 so sine 8x plus that one will get uh, 10 10x okay so you can see that this one this one okay is in the common or integrals which you can work with this is a common integral which you can work with this is also a common integral which you can work with 
Really? Okay. Now, since this one here doesn't have the two, and from the moment I have the two, so to balance, it's more like it, you multiply this by half. So, meaning expansion of cosine a t x, okay, for c 2x is equal to 1 over 2, okay, multiplying sine 6x plus sine 10x like that, okay? So now, this one here, is, we, are, we are integrating this one, okay? Now, since this one has been expanded in this form, okay? So it, we are now going to integrate this uh, expression there, okay? So now, we need to find now integral of so what is this, we are substituting with what we have expanded in this case, 1 over 2, okay, bracket sine uh, 6x, okay, plus sine 10x, like that, okay. The reason that this one here is, is a constant, so we can take it out of the uh, integral sign here. So this is 1 over 2, integral over sine 6x plus sine 10 x like that. Of course, this one we are integrating it with respect to x, so we can put it in x. Then when you reach here, when you reach here, we are going to distribute the integral. We are going to distribute the integral there. So meaning this is 1 over 2, we can use the square brackets. So meaning here we get the uh, integral of integral of uh, sine 6 x plus, okay, integral of sine x okay okay like that okay integral of that one there then when you reach here okay put the square bracket to show that it have to multiply whatever answer we get there okay so now this is the common integral which we can work with here okay we know that when we integrate okay sign it takes us to negative what eh? negative cos so meaning in the first answer here is 1 over 2 okay bracket so this one here you differentiate this part, okay? Okay, so here we this same as 1 over differential that one is what? 6, eh? okay? Times it, okay? Integral of sine, which will give you what? Negative of course, then you get that one the way it is, right? In this case, 6x, okay? So you say, plus, we do the same here. This is 1 over 10, okay? Times it, negative of course, you get 10x, Okay. So now, when you reach here, just to multiply this, meaning the answer, the answer here is, uh, this time that you get uh, negative 1 over 6 cos, cos 6x, okay, this time that you get minus 1 over, 1 over 10, okay, minus 1 over 10 cos, cos 10x, okay, but we know that the all of this is being multiplied by what? 1 over 2, which is it? Yeah. So now, half times that one, you get, you get uh, negative 1 over 12 cos 6x minus 1 over 20, okay, cos 10x plus c. Meaning this one, this is the final answer. So this is the integral of this function here, okay, of this question, should I say, okay. So the integral of this one, you get this answer here, okay? Now since it is an open integral, it is an open integral, hence we are including the C, in this case the constant, the constant. So now, look at this one. Let's add another, so again when you are given that, if you are decose cos here, we would have used that formula there. If you had sign sign, we would have used that formula. So you need to know these, uh, trig identities, okay, which are used under integration, okay. So, here, what if you have something like this? What if you have something like this? You want to integrate, for example, you want to integrate cos uh, squared uh, x, okay, okay. When you want to integrate cos squared x, yes, we know that uh, integral of cos x, it is easy, integral of cos x will just give us what? sine x okay but what if it is squared okay what if it is squared so when it is squared we, we involve somewhat uh trig identities again so now you need to know two okay we know that 
we know meaning integrating this one okay we need to take this one to the common integral okay we need to take this one to the common integral so now for example this one how do we take cos squared x to the common integral which we can work with under common integral we don't have cos squared x so meaning we need to work out this one so we know that uh, from the double angle formula okay cos cos 2x okay we know that cos 2x is equal to what cos squared x minus it sine squared x right yes we know that yeah, from the double formula here we double angle okay double angle formula for cos we have this uh, okay this gives us this meaning from here we need to know what cos squared is so now what do we do again we know that yeah, this manner identity cos squared x plus sine uh, squared x this one gives us what yeah, one since here we need to know what cos is okay we can make it assign the subject the subject of the formula in substitute substitute here because what we want is what cos meaning from this one okay sine squared x is equal to one minus cos squared what x like that okay so we can come back here and substitute come back So, so from cos, uh, so we have uh, cos, uh, cos 2x is equal to cos squared x minus, right? Minus, uh, so where the sign will put 1 minus uh, cos squared x, okay? So cos, cos 2x is equal to cos squared x x okay so this time that you get minus one eh? there you get plus eh? cos eh? uh, squared eh? x eh? how about so meaning this is eh? cos eh? uh, two x okay so cos two x eh? will give you okay here we can add one mm -hmm. so this one will get uh, two cos eh? squared x minus one eh? minus one right mm -hmm. so you get cos two squared okay minus one so in short, you want to make cos squared the subject so that you know where there is cos squared, you know that uh, tree you can use, okay? So this one, making cos squared the subject, you get cos 2x plus 1, right? The one will come this side, you will get this side you remain with 2 cos squared x, okay? 2 cos squared what? x, so you can divide by what? By 2, everything by by two like that, that one and that one goes. Meaning cos cos squared x is equal to cos two x plus one everything over what over two. Now look at this one. Look at how it is looking there. So this is same as this is same as cos squared x is equal to one over two. There is a 1 over 2 here, okay? It's more like 1 over 2 multiplied by cos 2x plus 1, plus 1 like this. Meaning, this is the identity for cos squared. So, for example, like in this case, where you are told now, for example, where you are told to integrate cos squared x, okay? Since you know cos squared x, you can substitute and put this one. So, where this cos squared x, you can just say, uh, integral of where this cos squared x, you can put this one which we have derived here, okay? So this is the same as 1 over 2, okay? You, you put cos 2x plus 1 like this, okay? So now, let us continue because we know that the whole this is cos squared x, okay? Now from the derivatives which we have done here, from the uh, uh, trig identities there, okay? We have gotten this. So this is same as it. So differentiating cos squared x will get this, okay? So we'll get, uh, let's get 1 over 2 out of the zero here. We'll remain with what? Eh? Cos 2x plus 1, okay? So this, this integral can be distributed here in there also. Meaning the answer here is 1 over 2, okay? It will multiply the integral of cos 2x, you get 1 over 2, okay? 1 over 2 sine 1, eh? sine 2x. 
So this one, one over two, the one which you have here, then the, the, the integral of cos is sine. This is the sine. And then get that angle the way it is, plus it. Uh, integral of one. So it's the just one here, okay? So this same one goes in. One x to the power zero. So integrating this one from the power root, you get what? X like this, okay? But there's a half which can multiply that one. Meaning the final answer here, the final answer for integral of cos squared x is just equal to half times half, you get 1 over 4, you get 1 over 4 sine uh, 2x, okay, plus 1x, just x over 2 plus c, okay. So this is the integral of, this is the integral of cos squared x. Okay, so from here, these, these are the things which I wanted us to discuss. So now, you can try that of sine squared. You can try that of sine squared and other trig identities. So for now, we can just end here. And do of more questions on this. More questions will be uploaded on me, uh, such questions. Okay, thank you.